Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about carbon. So now let's get straight to it. Carbon is a non-metal with atomic number 6 that belongs to group 14 on the periodic table. A typical carbon atom consists of 6 protons, 6 electrons and 6 neutrons. The name carbon comes from the Latin word carbo, which means coal, charcoal, or ember. Did you know that carbon has been known since ancient times in the form of charcoal? As early as 3750 BC, ancient Egyptians and Sumerians used charcoal to reduce various metals. The use of carbon continued until 1789, when French chemist Antoine Lavoisier identified it as an element for the first time. Carbon is the fourth most common element in the universe, after hydrogen, helium and oxygen. It is the 15th most abundant element in the Earth's crust. Carbon was not produced in the Big Bang. It is made within stars and supernova explosions via the triple alpha process. Three helium nuclei fuse to produce a carbon nucleus. Carbon is tetravalent. It is one of the few elements that can form stable covalent bonds with itself. As a result, it can exist in different forms, known as allotropes. Did you know that there are many different allotropes of carbon, with the most common being graphite, diamond and amorphous carbon? Graphite is made up of loosely connected sheets of carbon formed like chicken wire. It is dull black, electrically conductive, and soft enough to be used in pencil cores to leave mark on paper. Diamond, on the other hand, is linked three-dimensionally to form strong bonds. It is semi-transparent reflective, electrically non-conductive and the hardest substance on Earth. Amorphous carbon does not have a defined crystal structure. Examples include charcoal, soot, and coke. They are used to make nanocomposites in many industries such as textile, healthcare, and etc. Other carbon allotropes include fullerenes and graphene. Fullerenes, in which atoms are arranged in closed shells, were discovered in 1985. The discovery won the 1996 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Graphene, which consists of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in hexagons, was found by chance in 2004. It is the thinnest strongest material ever known, and won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2010. Carbon is sometimes called the king of the elements, due to its ability to bond with many other chemical elements. There are nearly 10 million compounds, more than any other element. Carbon is the key element of life. It can be found in organic material, such as the DNA and proteins. The human body consists of nearly 19% carbon, by weight. It is also found in fossilized remains in the form of hydrocarbons such as natural gas, crude oil, oil shales, and carbonates such as chalk, limestone, dolomite. Carbon is transformed from one form to another via the carbon cycle. The process is important, allowing carbon to be continually reused and recycled. A carbon footprint is the total amount of greenhouse gases that are generated by our actions. We can help reducing in small ways such as planting trees, carpooling, and recycling. Did you know that carbon black was the first pigment used for tattooing? The carbon tattoos of Otzi the Iceman, a 5,300-year-old corpse found frozen in the Alps, are still visible today. Car tires are black because they contain about 30% carbon black. It is added to rubber for extra strength and protection against UV damages. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.